Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Hasita Education. Today we are going to learn 8th class physics third lesson synthetic fibers in plastics. Before going into the topic, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press bell icon. Yes, this is a vast topic, so let's learn this topic in 3 parts. Now, first we check out the index to know the topic that we are going to cover in this video. Let's go. Topic number 1 History of Fiber Topic number 2 Synthetic Fibers Topic number 3 Plastic Attack Alert Now we are going to learn Topic number 1 History of Fiber Before going into the topic A small question for you What is a fiber? I will repeat the question What is a fiber? If you know the answer Please comment your answer with your name and school name Let's go into the topic History of Fiber Now in our daily life we use so many things like wallet, bags, plastic water bottles etc etc. For example take a cotton, try to tear it. You observe small small threads. They are called fiber. Now I will give a simple and technical definition for the fiber. Note it down. A fiber is a single and elongated piece of material which is similar to the thread. The small small particles of fiber join together to make a cloth. Next, there are two types of fibers. They are natural fiber and synthetic fiber. Natural fiber means it comes from plants or either animals. Synthetic fiber means artificial man-made fibers. Now, I will give some examples of natural fiber. Listen carefully. Suppose take a sheep. It gives us wool. You all know sheep gives us wool. So, where this wool comes from? Wool comes from sheep. You know sheep. Sheep is an animal. So, the fiber comes from the sheep is a natural fiber. And suppose take a cotton. It comes from the cotton plant. So, it is a natural fiber. Fibers which comes from the plant or animals called as natural fibers. Hope you understand. Next, we learn synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers means which fibers are not come from the plant and animal are called synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are man-made, not comes from the nature. Some examples for synthetic fibers are nylon, polyester, rayon, etc. are man-made. So, they are called synthetic fibers. Now, we will learn about silk. Where does it come from? What is the process to get silk? Let's learn. Silk is a very very expensive and smooth fabric and really a strong one. Silk is obtained from a silkworm. Have you ever heard about sericulture? Let's learn. What is a sericulture? The cultivation of silkworm to produce silk is called sericulture. In the starting of the silkworms, they are like tiny tiny eggs. The tiny eggs of the silkworm are incubated till they hatch into something like larva. After some days, the larva comes out from the egg. When it comes out from the egg, the size of the larva is 1 by 4th inch. Remember, this is an important point. When the silkworm is come out from the egg, the size of the larva is 1 by 4th of the inch. So, once they come out from the egg, they are placed on huge mulberry trees. During some time, they actually shed their skin 4 times. Then it changes its color. Now, the silkworm is ready to view the silk cocoon. The single silkworm can produce up to 15 meters of fiber in a minute. Note it, it's also an important point. A single silkworm can produce up to 50 meters of fiber in a minute. Next, the process of conversion of larva into pupa in 3 to 8 days period is called pupating. Note it down, it's also a very very important point. The process of conversion of larva into pupa in 3 to 8 days period is called pupating. Next, the cocoon is treated with hot air and steam, boiling water, etc. to separate silk form with the fiber. Observe the diagram carefully. This is the lifestyle of the silk worm. Observe. These are tiny tiny eggs. After comes from the egg, this is the larva. And after silk moth, 
Next, the process of pupating an adult. Silk produced by Bombax Mori is considered to be the best quality. Bombax Mori feeds mainly mainly on mulberry leaves. That's it. We learn more about fibers in the part 2 in next video about synthetic fibers, story of synthetic fibers etc. Don't forget to see the next video for the continuation of this video. Bye bye. We'll meet in the next video.